Okay, I bring you greetings today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There's a program coming up, a conference to be precise, that has been circulating with a controversy, doubt, or would I use the word misunderstanding. So I felt it's important, having received so many people calling and sending me information, the flyers and adverts on the matter to at least go deep a bit and then share and then also look at it from my own view and if you are listening i expect also that everybody should at this time because i know there's just everybody is entitled to their own view but want to look at it as it's going to impact the intellectual world the university where it's about to take place and god's own kingdom and his purpose now as a child of god taking my stand as a believer and it's my opinion entirely and i don't know everybody's entitled to his or her own view but let's look at it now this as you look at it is the flyer just the way i'm putting it up it really says first international and interdisciplinary conference on witchcraft meaning factors and practices now the question is is could this be academic because if it's academic then they would begin to ask what is the uh, benefits because you see it's been hosted at Professor B. I. Ijoma Center for Policy and Research, University of Nigeria. Now it's going to be at this energy center and the opening ceremony they said is on 26 November and it's going to be on till 27 which is on the Wednesday and then it has its keynote speakers and the lead speakers and from the chief hosts the host and the special guests, you can also see that the university constitution and those who are in authority are well and aware of it. I also found out that it's well packaged and the details are also out for those who are interested in bringing in peppers. There's also adverts on those who want to bring in pepper to bring in their peppers. It says it starts with an introduction describing witchcraft as Amos or Obanje in Igbo language and what is called in Yoruba, Ejo and other languages. Now now, the conference of teams were to be looking at the conceptual issues in witchcraft, the philosophy of witchcraft, witchcraft in the university, that uh, witchcraft in history, witchcraft in literature, folklore and witchcraft, science of witchcraft, witchcraft as an art, gender and witchcraft, the politics of witchcraft, secret witchcraft and witchcraft theology, sacred tests and witchcraft, the economics of witchcraft, security and witchcraft, social works and witchcraft, witchcraft and social critics, witchcraft in traditional and African society, witchcraft and governance, witchcraft and development, spirituality and witchcraft, witchcraft leveling and other related topics. Um, I've also found out some online updates and publications by some apparently, will I say well-meaning people who have also brought up their own opinion, talking about Christians being hooked on deliverance and demon chasing, apparently saying that they have done more advert for witches and wizards than this eye-opening research and knowledge-based conference coming up at you and then will ever achieve. Now, to gauge the importance, Christians ascribe to the phenomenon and practice of witchcraft in our midst. Let the note tempo of prayers in church and fellowship when the congregation prays for normal or generic prayer to the sick and some other things like that and the rest of the story here. But you see, what I'm actually thinking is that in a nation where when we look at it from the academic viewpoint, we know that it's recorded that Chinese people presently are sending most of their young wants on scholarship to read on robotic and the uh, intelligence and all kinds of manner of things to update their position that's strategically positioning their own nation 2020 and beyond to 2030 to rule the world and i'm wondering now a university that we know that average graduates are not able to stand on their own and defend their certificates when it comes to being potentially equipped, for example, in this robotics we are talking about, how many things can we post off now that are being manufactured, produced locally that we are using? Then I'm wondering, what is this whole thing about the science of witchcraft? Are we actually succumbing that witchcraft or whatever is going on in it could be responsible for the problem or that dealing with witchcraft is what will give us a victory or is going to give us a breakthrough in whatever are the problems that are inherent within the university? 
it while our system is unproductive or is it that out of the research we are going to come out with something that will break whatever it is that is supposed to be the problem of the system because you see there or those who are organizing it I don't know what exactly they have in mind but then everybody out there is asking questions and I too I throw my own question but I could just at the same time offer my own little answer and that is what I believe that in as much as yes so they can plan they can do what they plan but let us go back at least I believe I'm talking to believers now Leviticus chapter 1931 says I know it's helpful if you can follow me it says do not turn to mediums and necromancers do not seek them out so make yourself unclean by them I am the Lord your God now basically if God says do not turn to mediums and necromancers I know that at this time and hour whatever is coming from mediums or from necromancers or witchcraft cannot be a solution but rather the Bible says do not seek them out so I want to add this time what God said do not seek out you don't have any business seeking it out I don't know how how of all topics of all things that the university we want to seek out now it is witchcraft and the bible said do not make yourself unclean by them what god said do not make yourself unclean by means that it is a practice that defies and i wonder why the university at this hour we want to open up itself to be defiled the bible said it makes unclean and the bible said i'm the lord your god this is a command of god for god said this is a command when god said i command this except if the university or the institution as it stands now has no regard for the command of god because i know that most apostasy it is like this that the foundations began and I know that many things that is going on today that is not going on as it ought to this is the way it started now Exodus chapter 22 verse 18 is also helpful to note here the Bible said you shall not permit a sorcerer to live why would God say so what is wrong with sorcery why would God say do not permit them to live it must be because their influence their impact the things they have done their levels of wickedness have never advanced any institution and that's why you also see I can also bring up more scriptures and I need you to follow me to Leviticus chapter 20 verse 27 the Bible said a man a woman who is a medium or a nicole Romancer shall surely be put to death. They shall be stoned with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. Again, Revelation chapter 28 verse 1 says, But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, or for the murderers, the sexual immoral, sorcerers and idolaters, their portion will be in the lake of fire. And then another scripture, Leviticus chapter 20 verse 6 says, If a person turns to a medium and necromancer or warring, I will set my face against that person and will cut them off from among my people. I believe that the University of Nigeria has taken in a tongue. And I tell you, if they don't redress this tongue and they don't watch the tongue they're about to take, they're about to cut themselves out of God's divine plan, divine mandate, and divine grace. And that's why I believe that men in the days of Benson Idahosa, they never gave a room and they did not allow, neither did they tolerate the meeting that was planned by witches and wizards in their own time to stand. Now, if those who are planning it are doing it at intellectual level, then on that ground, I could also add at this time and point, why open up and create a platform for something that is not to be exalted to take the forefront? Is that all the university can research upon? Is that the solution to hunger? Is that the solution to joblessness? Is that supposed to be the scientific solution that is expected from them at this hour to redeem this generation? I pray that the good Lord Almighty, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, will take a turn on this event and put an end to whatever is a wickedness a spell that is about to be cast in that society because i know that when a spell is cast on a people i know one thing that happens to them like when goliath stood before the people of israel it took david someone that had no influence of that spell to stop goliath i pray that this is the season that god will raise the davidic anointing those who will not be afraid of this goliath this giant this six feet animal boasting beast from rising up in the midst of this intellectual group and community and raising an altar that will offend god an altar that will pollute the university an altar that will cause god to stand out and not to be a partaker or be in the forefront of the things that is expected at this hour to shift we are the gate of 2020 and i believe that the gates of hell shall not be fell against the church god bless you in jesus name